Hello. Don't get me wrong. I truly think they are all beautiful, and I do love them all, but I have to admit, they are not all quite the same. In particular, I've seen one in Delphi that is special. It's the elegance, the curves, the smoothness, just beautiful. I could spend hours looking and still be left wordless. On the other hand, this beauty is quite talkative, literally covered in messages, yapa, yapa, yapa. And even if it's hardly comprehensible, people travel the world just to hear them. The age is uncertain, as it's not appropriate to ask how old they are, unless you want lies. Oh, you look great. Not to a century older. No one give you more than 5 BC. You know how it goes. Another slang is that some even call it lesbian. Which is a bit misleading. There's nothing like it in the island of Lesbos. The pomegranate wall over there is fine, but it's not the same. I would understand the name if it was for this other wall. It's mysterious and somewhat butch. Squarish and silent. It's even easy to miss sitting on the Pnyx, a secondary hill just to the side of the dilapidated Acropolis of Athens. Just to be clear. What I miss in the Acropolis are not the half-naked ladies that were taken to the British Museum. That was probably for the best, considering the locals were using the place as an ammunition deposit that, surprise, exploded. For me, the missing piece is that many centuries before the Parthenon, the Acropolis Hill had a cyclopean flat top, up for mysterious usages. Then it lost the one-eyed charm to build new stuff, a similar fate to almost all such historic sites in Greece. Even in Mycenae, where the Cyclopean walls are the main attraction, they stand out probably just because the rest of the city was raised to the ground during the Bronze Age collapse. Unlike, for example, in Italy, I hope you'll check out those videos where the Cyclopean walls are still impressive, supporting whole cities. In Greece, most of what we can see are smaller stretches of ruins that went through a lot over time. In this new series of videos, starting today, I'll go around Greece to show off why the Aegean is such a hub for Cyclops and to see what we can learn from that. For starters, let's make sense of their favorite pronouns. Cyclopean, Pelasgian, Lesbian. Are these even proper words? And what do they really mean? Knowing that there are no fixed definitions, I'll give it a go. Number 1. Polygonal. It's the broader term that encapsulates all types and variations, without distinctions. Whenever we get a wall without mortar and odd-shaped stones, it's polygonal. Megalithic. It means literally made with large stones and is applicable to whatever has large stones. 
most notably the prehistoric constructions like the dolmens or the menhirs. Because of the Stone Age connotation, it can mean not only big but also old, with some polygonal masonry being properly megalithic in that sense. Three, Cyclopean, my favorite, for the innuendos. It means built by the Cyclops, and is a term the classic Greeks used to refer to whatever they consider to be wild, old and big. A bit like megalithic for them, but rougher. Four, the four types of Lugli, an Italian archaeologist who made a solitary attempt at characterizing the walls, numbering them from one to four considering the tightness of the fitting. It's the only systematic scheme I could find and it shows how much more there is still to learn, as these walls are constantly overlooked by academia. Five, rubble. That's more of an insult. When people use small stones to fill in the gaps between the larger ones, instead of properly shaping them. It's the first type of Lugli scheme, but unfortunately is often used to confuse new sloppy constructions with ancient lost technology. Six, trapezoidal. This is when the rock shapes are flat, but not totally squared, and the courses, the rows, are mostly horizontal. It's a simpler method, with many examples around Greece, usually said to be more recent, from a classic time when the builders were cutting corners. 7. Pelasgian. It refers to an ancient people that preceded even the Bronze Age Mycenaean Greeks. Despite being unclear if they are real, Greek historians would insist in calling Pelasgian two polygonal masonry, implying it was very old, but not as big as Cyclopean. Mycenaean, the term preferred by present-day historians, dating it to the Bronze Age Greece. Whenever the classical Greek would say Pelasgian or Cyclopean, meaning way older than that, modern historians would say Mycenaean as a sort of not so old. Nine, lesbian. It got this name either because of a lead rule or an old butch wall in the island of Lesbos. This style applies to the most elegant and curved fitting, as the one we can see in Delphi, second only in elegance to the famous ones in Peru. Wrapping it up, all these names have a lot of overlap and are often used as synonyms, and Greece is a cyclopean navel for having a bit of all these namesake types mixed up, sometimes in one single site, or spread out onto a lovely countryside that is often forgotten by tourists. And if you've seen my previous videos, you heard that avoiding barbarian hordes of tourists is what I like to do, when I'm not playing the cyclopean order game. Let's embark on to Greece. See you soon.